Hello everybody and welcome to my kitchen. Today, as you probably know, we will be making sweet potato and roasted chickpea quinoa Buddha bowls. This recipe is honestly one of my favorites. I found it a little while ago when I was getting into healthier cooking and was looking for a recipe that satisfied the following criteria in which it is delicious, quick to make, healthy, and cost effective and this recipe exceeded the expectations of what I was looking for. It is loaded with four different delicious off. We have one of the most delicious and cost effective forms of protein, chickpeas as our protein source, then adding in some quinoa, rounding it out, adding that fiber, making it a little more filling, although it already is super filling and delicious. And then it all is topped off with this delicious creamy maple tahini sauce. And if that doesn't sound good enough already as is, it only takes maybe 30 minutes to make. So I'm already hungry. I'm ready to start cooking. So let's get into this, shall we? So let's get started. All right, now we're going to start cutting the veggies. We'll start with the onion, cutting it into wedges. So I'm going to try my best not to cry. Pro tip, put your yams in the microwave first to make them a little bit easier to cut. One tip is when roasting vegetables in cooking any type of vegetables essentially is try to keep the sizes as consistent as possible. As we see here, I tried my best, but it's not perfect. However, as the onions are a bit thinner and cook a lot quicker typically than sweet potatoes, I left them in layers um, to try and preserve that thickness and help them cook a little bit slower relative to the sweet potatoes. When it comes to cooking herbs, or in this case, large leafy greens, I often find a quick tip and trick to cutting them up is to layer them all and then twist them in a bunch. And this way you can just do a few quick chops and you're ready to go. If you can, don't forget to compost. In case you didn't know, you can cook quinoa in your rice cooker if you have one.
Look at this. We are all done and we have such beautiful food. We are about to eat. We have our roasted veggies, our sauteed chickpeas, and our nice, light, and fluffy, and delicious quinoa. So, when it comes to preparing a meal, the Canadian Food Guide recommends you make a quarter of your meal whole grain foods, which is our quinoa here. So. We'll add in approximately a quarter of our portion, the whole grain. Next, we move on to protein foods, which is supposed to make up another quarter of your meal. So adding approximately equal parts quinoa and equal parts chickpeas to our bowl. And then finally, last but not least, our vegetables. And the Canadian Food Guide states that you should have approximately half your meal be either fruits or vegetables. So we're just gonna load it in there and look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So last but not least, we're just gonna top it with our sauce and then give it a taste test. rest, finally. It's great about this recipe is that you can use uh, different things you kind of have lying around your kitchen um, and all the ingredients can also be replaceable as well, especially the vegetables. Um, so if you have any vegetables in your refrigerator that are about to go bad, I highly recommend that you toss them in the oven. So I absolutely love this dish because it is super healthy, but also super filling and very, very yummy. All right, enjoy.